So one of the things we're trying to do with the University of Phoenix is to reach out and to bring into those classrooms these great minds, these great thinkers, and make them available to all of our students in a way that one never could do that before when you talked about a physical classroom. We don't just want to make it accessible, we want to do it right. We think great thinkers, great thoughts, great ideas need to be done in a wonderful way. In 2011, University of Phoenix came to us looking for a way to film, edit, and distribute a series of presentations from visiting professors and thought leaders in the fields of education. So we gave them the Phoenix Lecture Series, a scalable content platform that's been helping to engage and educate over 400,000 students far beyond the classroom. For Nicholas Negroponte, co-founder of the MIT Media Lab and founder and chairman of One Laptop Per Child, we wanted to incorporate a design aesthetic that intrinsically tied into his 90-minute presentation on the consequences of living in a digital world. So we decided to reconfigure the bits and atoms within his lecture by making Nicholas Negroponte into a hologram. And we helped him deliver a visually stunning presentation about education, creativity, and where new ideas come from. But how do you take a groundbreaking piece of content and use it to inspire even more people with the same level of impact as the original presentation? It's simple. You pick it up and take it wherever you want to share it. Following the success of Nicholas Negroponte's Phoenix Lecture, we were tasked with taking the holographic presentation to New York City, to the New York Times Schools for Tomorrow conference, an event attended by educators from all over the country to discuss the impact of innovation and technology on schools. So instead of setting up a traditional trade show booth, we built a fully interactive holographic stage within a very limited time frame and in a very constrained space. The result was a lifelike version of Nicholas Negroponte that surprised everyone a living, breathing, but completely digital installation that pushed the limits of what's possible in a conference setting. And to avoid the dullness of just another looping video, we custom built a programmable console to let users interact with six different pieces of the original presentation. It was a way for hundreds of conference goers to experience the commitment that University of Phoenix has for its students. Taking Nick Negroponte's presentation and physically recreating it served as a litmus test for new ways to deliver exciting and inspiring content and it showed all of us how good design principles can be applied to make education more accessible, more interesting, and much more spectacular.